Hello everybody and welcome to my first official video. I am so excited to play this game with you guys. It's called Nico Through the Dream. It's a beautiful, beautiful dreamscape uh, puzzle type of game. And we're going to be doing a, well, when I say we, I meant you guys watching me, me playing with you guys, a let's play of Nico Through the Dream. So I'm going to go ahead and do a new game, although for video recording reasons I have played the game before but not too not too really far so the first episode is gonna be sort of like a little walkthrough more than a uh, actual let's play but I haven't seen this intro so I'm just gonna let it play and you guys can watch it as well <laughs> the graphics are really cool by the way why is that dog just standing there lonely I wouldn't let my dog stand in the windmill like that it's kind of dangerous oh, hey. so if you guys haven't played the game before and sorry that I'm talking over this uh, beautiful music this is Nico uh, and with the description it said that she is uncovering what is seems to be her past or her certain memories so this dreamscape world is uh, sort of like her mind and she's going through uh, her events and you can see how the music changes in the game which is one of the important things they said the soundtrack is uh, part of the game well not part of the game but like really really into the game and now she's applying makeup I believe and her or her <laughs> or her war paint That kind of looks cool. She's running away from home? No? I don't know what she's doing. You know, the graphics are absolutely cool. Now there's a cat sleeping on top of a tree branch. Whoa, cat. Just what? It's funny because my cat wanted to join me too. Say hi, Roxy. You don't want to say hi? It's okay. You can join with me with the sad music. <laughs> Nico, don't do it. <laughs> ow, ow, okay, Roxy, you're clawing me. She already got her minutes of fame. Wow, that looks really cool. Didn't know this uh, intro was, was pretty long. Oh no, it's getting sad. The thing that they didn't lie about in the description is says, we want you to feel the game and the adventure as well as just playing it. Like they don't want you to just play it, they want you to live it. And they're doing it right. They're doing it right. I'm guessing those were her memories? She's remembering something? Who? Oh. Is that a tombstone? Ah. Why else would you have a spear near the river? <laughs> Fly away, birdie. I'll send you off to the heavens. And she fell asleep. I'm guessing this is what happened the day of when the game's taking the event? What is that? What are those? What are they? Oh? Is that the intro? There's still more. 
this looks like Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> okay. I mean, not that it looks like Kingdom Hearts, but... I think a lot of games have I've been doing this every, every so... Every so often. <laughs> I think that's it? Okay, that's it. Wow. It's a pretty long intro. Never seen it before. It's pretty, really, really beautiful. Alright. So the first stage, as always. Oh, wait a minute. Huh, that's what it is. It's a ball of water. Water orb. I always wonder what that thing was. And it disappears. So one of the things with this game is that I haven't, well, noticed there's no talking. Only it's uh, just pretty much silent, but with beautiful music. So it kind of makes up for people not talking. Uh, but it just makes the game hard because there's not a lot of information going on. Um, so yeah, those things that I just picked up, that's a card. Um, I don't know what they do yet, but it seems as there there is more. I just haven't found any of them yet. And here they show you the interaction button, which is going to be E. And now it gives you a sad story. Which I haven't figured out yet. But I believe that's her house. That's the front of her house that looks like a face. And I'm guessing that's her father. Just because of this picture right here. I don't know if that's correct. If anyone has played the game further than I have, then I guess you know, but I, I do not, um, I, pfft, I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, so when you start in this stage, you have the option, or what it seems to you have the option, to go to three places. One is over here, the second one's over here, and the third one's over here. That's what I assumed the first time I played the game, and horribly failed. As you can see, there is nothing to go across over there. I did the uh, mistake of jumping, thinking that it was like an invisible thing, since it's a puzzle game. I guess I just thought too hard. <laughs> but, anyways, I'm going to take you through the one thing you might have not um, thought of, since I didn't even either. They show you these pictures right here, or this pillar looking thing, with an element on it. That's what I was assuming first, and I, I mean, I was right, surprisingly. I never get things right. So here we have water, fire, wind, and earth. At first, you know, I was just clicking random things, try to like figure out, oh, well, you know, this and this goes together, and then, oh, let me do earth. But it doesn't work like that. As a matter of fact, it took me 20 minutes to try to figure this out, and uh, it wasn't so pleasant because, you know, no one talks in the game, no one tells you what to do. So what I did was come through these weird shapes, uh, rocks or whatever, and then I noticed that they would show you an element, and they would show you as well a marking. Now, I don't know what the marking means, but <laughs> I do know that it's one marking. Then I noticed when I walked to the second one, it had another element with two markings. So right off the bat, I knew that there was going to be the element picture and the marking leading up to, like, what uh, position is first and what number, um, and what element, sorry, you would pick. So what do we got? Wind is four, earth is three. Fire is two and water is one. So that's pretty much the order you have to go uh, go here and press these. So water was first, fire was second, uh, earth was third, and did I get them right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, for a minute there I just kind of doubted myself, but um, then you see this and cool. You unlocked another piece of the soundtrack, meaning you're gonna go further into the game. Now you connected the bridge. 
Which this made a lot of sense to me when <laughs> I was trying to jump in through it. And that's, yeah. If you guys are mad, that's nearly the intro. Not the whole picture intro, but this was the intro. And, okay, now we can move. Alright, so advancing further through the game, um, we're gonna go ahead and go through the bridge to nowhere. Butterfly, don't go. I absolutely love this game. I just think it looks really cool and the soundtrack to me is amazing. It's very peaceful, except it kinda if it gets further up and you don't know the game, it's kinda gets frustrating. Although it doesn't feel that way because you have this you know, super sweet music. Alright, so here this confused me a lot. Um <clears throat> at first I just started hitting random things. Which worked, sort of, but um, I'll just give a brief explanation of what this is. So pretty much that orb you see right there, this one right here, the big one. The main goal of this, and I didn't know until I got uh, sort of it right. I'll just go through it actually, let me do it. So, these move a certain circle in that orb. You have to find a way to make it so that the tiny orbs are in there touching the smaller portion of the top circles and I'll show you right now what I mean so there we go so there's gonna be a circle like that and then it's gonna have kind of like a line with a circle on it and then you have to connect those into the top three uh, circles in the orb. Uh, I know it's very confusing, like, and especially since they don't tell you. It's just kind of a matter of trying to like, moving things around, in trial and error, which is what worked for me. Although I was really upset the first time <laughs> I did this, which I don't believe I have a video for it because. Uh, yeah, I had trouble recording this episode for you guys, but I think I got it down this time. Alright, let's see. So, oh, I got it wrong. And this circle's not... Okay, these move the bigger circles. The small one moves the big circle, and the big one moves the tiny circle. And I can't really see, because the brightness is really high in this game. Where where is it? Okay, I don't know. There we go. I'm guessing that's where it, I need to get into a better view. Actually, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, no, no. I can't really see. Oh, there we go. <coughs> so we got the second one down. Now we're gonna get the third one. You do the same thing. If you could actually see. Oh man, I need to get. Oh, okay. Well, whoa. whoa. Oh, there it goes. It's not supposed to go there. Hey. Okay. I can't really see it. But I'm just gonna move ahead the small one. And now uh, move the big one again. Oh, I know it's not gonna land in there. Oh, yeah, it's not gonna land in there. Oh, it's gonna land in this one? Yeah, it will. I think. Yeah. There we go. Whew. So, yeah. I should have turned down the brightness for my own sake. But after that, these uh, weird panels are gonna appear. And they're in the shape of, la I guess, a ladder or. Yeah, a ladder. Or stairs. Or whatever. And <laughs> you're going through the gate of light. As soon as I saw it the first time, I was like, I know I have to get to that. Don't know what it is, don't know what it it was for, but at, it kind of tells you, sort of, what it's for. It's just a matter of, you know, checking it out and then it's, it's pretty fun. It sounds like the Dongo Cave from, wait, was it the Dongo's Cave? 
the, the dongo. You know, I found this orb here because I was trying to see if you can pass through these. You know, kind of cheat your way around it, but the game made it impossible. Um, but apparently this is something from the game, uh, but when you interact with it, it only gives you that ding. I don't really know what it is for. Um, I guess the further as we go through the game, we'll figure it out. But for now, it's just a ding. Yeah, just a ding. The thing with the ding. Alright, so... Um... <laughs> I'm very bad with my memory, so I don't really remember <laughs> uh, as to where to go. But I know there's one of these walls that gives you a clue to your story. Oh, here we go. It goes back to the first music with the little plant. It was her birthday, I believe. So beautiful. It's Teddy Bear! <laughs> I guess, I think that was the end of the video and then it reloops. No? Yeah. Okay. So that doesn't really help, but it kind of does explain a little bit of her past. So if, you know, I guess that kind of does help, actually. Um. Ah, there we go. These things. So, with this, you already know, aha, Emmy didn't uncover the truth for us, we already knew it. As soon as you saw that, you're like, oh, well you gotta get to the red thing and disactivate it, you're right. So, here is the blue, um, <laughs> I'm gonna call it the blue egg. The blue egg, and what you do is you pretty much follow these codes, type them in here, and it's gonna deactivate the blue cell or the blue containment or the the strand of line that's holding you from getting to where you need to go so <laughs> um, I guess I could call them gates okay so this right here well let's see so you have to match them in order as well I think it's that one. Oh, I got a bad memory okay so I'm just gonna mess it up because I did it wrong <laughs> it's not that one it's not that one. It's the is this one. Yeah. The second one looks like a boot or a girl's shoe. Although to me they all look like shoes, really. Um that one. There we go. And the last one is the weird shape with <laughs> this one. There we go. Alright, so that took care of the blue one. Now you guessed it, we have to find the red and the green one. Ooh, Emmy's so smart for figuring that out. Not really, but I guess. <laughs> okay, so I don't remember where the green one is, but I think the second one would be the red one. Or I may be wrong, I think the red one was the last one I did. Like I said, my memory is sort of bad especially since I was trying to record the game and it I, I'm, I'm sorry for you know having that not first let's play feel as you guys I guess wanted to but I had many issues trying to record this episode I'm just glad I got it out of the way so here's the green one the green egg Time to open the green gates, but except this time, they put it kind of far, so it's really hard for you to like, you know, just remember the code and go back in there. My suggestion is, is always remember the first two or just the first one. It looks like a phone, and then go ahead and kind of catch it in there. Oh, mine just passed by. I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Got it. All right. So then you go to the second one. It's that thing that looks like a spider leg. <laughs> oh, it, seriously, that's the second time it happens. There we go. And then, which one's the last one? The one that looks like a boot. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. Ta-da! We open the green cage. The green gate. The green stuff. 
that's holding us from getting to where we need to go. And actually, I didn't check this part before, did I? No, I didn't. But it's... <laughs> It's a no-go because you can't go anywhere, so that's fine. Didn't miss out on much. Um. Okay, I'm confused. Where was it? I think it was to the right. No, that's a dead end. Okay, it was. No, that's a dead end too. Okay, I think this is it. Yeah. So. <laughs> I totally forgot this is how fast it goes. And you can see like the difficulty gets uh gets worse. And this is really fast. Uh but it's the same thing. Type in the same codes. Well not the same codes, the one in the wall. And hold up. I didn't do this last time. I didn't Okay, I didn't think there was anything in there. Cool. So yeah. It's just a matter of doing it and uh timing it right. So at least you can see it from here. So is that one with the shoe or the spider leg I said I believe. Oh, Pass right by me. There. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna mess it up. It's okay. Woo! Oh man. This is. This is fast. Why is it so fast? Oh my god. I hope it recognizes that's what I got. Because uh, it's gonna be really disappointing for me. Woo! That's sort of in the frame. Uh, that's one of the things I don't know actually. If you put it on the frame or not, uh, will it matter? We'll find out now, I guess, because I last time I did this, it wasn't so bad. I I mean, it was bad, but I got them all in the frame. This is gonna be the first time I actually don't get one in the frame. Oh, evil game! What the hell? Okay, so you have to put them on the frame apparently. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> right on the middle. I think I'm starting to get a hang out of this. Oh. No! <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. This is it. I'm not going any further than this. No! Oh my god, this thing is so hard to play. There we go, finally, after I don't know how many tries. Now we got rid of, now we got rid of the red. Rid of the red. -o. That was kind of weird for me to say. Alright guys, I'm going to have to cut the game kind of short. Uh, this is going to be it for the first episode. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. If you want to see more of this, log on every Wednesday pretty sure that I'll be able to make uh, one of the Nico through the dream let's plays before I go <coughs> we are streaming live through L sky underscore trap L we're doing Pokemon Puzzle League uh, Mario Party we're gonna make a stream session for two days straight I believe if you guys like the video make sure you like it subscribe and hope to see you again on my page. As always, my name is Emmy and you guys are awesome.